Hello, and welcome to our Dog Biz Pro help video series. In this video, we will be explaining how to work with already created dogs. Each dog has their own separate page created for them inside of the software. If you ever wanted to navigate to one of these specific dog pages, you would just want to navigate to your Dogs tab. In order to do this, you would want to start by going into one of your working modules, and again, that can be either your daycare and boarding, therapy, or training module. Once you're inside one of those modules, you would just want to click on the Dogs tab in order to be brought to that Dogs tab page. Once you're inside of this Dogs tab page, you should be able to type in the dog information and search for the dog in question by clicking the search button. So we'll just type in our example dog, click search, and if you notice, those results appear right down below. If I wanted to navigate to that specific dog page, I would just click on the results appearing down below and it would take me right to that specific dog page. Once I'm inside the dog's specific page, you'll notice there is a number of separate icons and tabs showing throughout the page. Starting with the icon list, the very first icon showing is called the View Owner icon. If I was to click this icon, it would actually take me right back to the owner's specific page. For the purpose of this video, we're going to navigate back to the dog's specific page, but again, that View Owner icon is just an easy way to get back to the owner's specific page. The next icon showing is the Edit Dog icon. With this icon, I can actually edit a dog's information and save my changes. So let's say, for whatever reason, I wanted to change the primary breed here. I could go ahead and do that. Select a new breed, click Save, and if you notice, it'll update my changes right away for me. The next icon showing is the Dog Photo icon. If I wanted to upload a picture of the dog to this dog's specific page, I would just click on this icon in order to open up the dog picture window. From inside this window, I could click the select button in order to search my computer for that picture, and then I could click the upload button in order to actually upload that picture. Once I'm finished, I could click save, and after I've made my changes, I should now be able to see a dog picture showing there. The next icon showing will actually be dependent on which module you're inside of. If you're inside of your training module, it will be showing the Sign Up Dogs for Class icon. This will allow you to actually sign up a dog for a class. If I'm inside of my daycare and boarding module, that icon would actually be showing as the Schedule Dog for Daycare icon. So just so you can see what that would look like. Again, it's a very same window, but it's just scheduling for daycare because I'm inside the daycare and boarding module. Whereas in this one, it's scheduling for classes because I'm inside my actual training module. So again, either of those schedule buttons would just allow you to actually schedule a dog for a class or a daycare, depending on which module you're in. If I'm inside of my training module, I'll also see a schedule private training icon showing as my next icon. This works a lot like the schedule dog for class icon, but this will allow you to schedule a dog for a private training appointment. So again, if I wanted to schedule a private training appointment for this dog, I could click that icon and I would be able to walk through scheduling a private training appointment for this specific dog. The next icon showing is the Add a Dog Vaccine icon. This icon would allow me to actually add a vaccine to the dog's account. So if I was to click that icon, I'd be able to choose what dog it is for. I could select a specific vaccine. I could choose the date that it was given. And then I could choose when it expires. That vaccine is verified. I can also check the verified checkbox, and that'll just give you an, an extra notification showing that, that this vaccine was verified. If I want to enter in multiple vaccines at one time, I can click the Enter Multiple Vaccines button, and that will allow me to actually enter in multiple vaccines at one time. So let's say I just want to enter in multiples of these. I could go ahead and do that. Let's say this one's verified. Go ahead and click save in order to actually create those vaccines. And if you notice, those vaccines are now showing up inside this dog specific page. The next icon showing is the add a dog note icon. This icon will allow you to manually add a dog note to the dog's account. After the note is added, it will appear inside of the notes tab down below. So if I wanted to add a dog note, I could click that button, do a test note, and I can click save. If you notice, it actually created that note for me. The next icon showing is the Merge Dogs icon. This would allow you to actually merge two similar dogs into one account. So if one of your clients accidentally created a duplicate dog, you could actually merge those two dogs into one account using this icon here. The last icon on this page is the Print Dog Info icon. 
This would allow you to print out basic information about this dog. Hopefully that helps and explains working with all the dog icons. Check out our next video for a walkthrough on the dog tabs.